It's getting windy. I knew that there'd be a price to pay for being such a nice day yesterday. There always is. And uh, I just hope my bike will stay there okay without falling over. It should be good. It's lean, leaning up against the... It is leaning up against the hill. So, it should be good to go. And it's a trek. If it falls over, it'll, it can handle it. Let's talk about this tent so so far it's been great and uh, even though it's windy um, it's been holding up seems now this is only day one so we'll see how it goes over the night but as far as uh, the sturdiness of it it's getting beat around pretty good so I mean I don't think you can do very much of a more of a better review than just actually using it in these kind of conditions um, actually didn't see this last night when I was setting it up but up in here and that one came loose, so let me tighten that back up. All right, so I got that piece out now. Did some creative thinking. And it's, since it's got that flap, you're supposed to put like snow and stuff on. Uh, grabbed a bunch of rocks, and put it around there. And that's really helping stabilize it too. And more so for the noise, because when you're inside, you hear them flaps go. <laughs> so instead of tying them up, uh, just got the rocks on them. So that should do pretty good. All right, so quick update, uh, it's still windy. Currently, I have my uh, phone over here charging off the iSteady Pro because the iSteady Pro has a battery or a, a USB adapter where you can charge things. I'm using that because this is garbage. Um, so it charged my phone once and it charged the GoPro batteries once. And I actually looked at it, I thought it was 47,500 milliamps. And I, was, I was wrong on that, it's 35,800 milliamps. But still, it, it should have lasted longer than that. And I headed outside all day in the sun charging and it's still, there's still a little bit of light left so you can see it's trying to charge right now. But I don't know, uh, it's good for a charge or two, but for the weight of that thing, I'd rather just carry one of these because this, this here um, charged for a lot longer so uh, like I said currently it's raining I'm trying to stay inside but if it gets real bad I'm gonna go get the bike because the bike is right in that wash right there but the water or the uh, ground is so dry here that it will usually um, you know soak up the water pretty quick so I'm just hoping it doesn't get too bad with the rain because this ground I'm on right now is real soft and it, it'll just be a muddy mess in the morning if it rains real hard so we'll have to wait and see um, but yeah it looks like the plans uh, just because of the battery situation um, GoPro batteries are charged up I got three left that are fully charged and then I've got my phone I think it's gonna eat up all the charge off of this uh, gimbal so this battery pack here is dead so Anyway, um, I'm going to play it by ear for tomorrow, but it looks like I might be heading home because I think I'm going to be out of batteries, so I'm going to have to find another solution for batteries. But overall, it's been a good trip. Uh, the tent has held up really well, and um, so I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Just make sure if you do get this tent, make sure that you tie up those corners off the tent poles for the exterior shell. It makes a big difference as far as securing, uh, securing the tent. So... But anyway, that's the update. I'll get back to you later. So I went and got the bike and I put it up there around the corner, but I'm back to the tent now. I don't want to get back out. But uh, yeah, this was all fun until just a little while ago. And that's the storm that's getting ready to come over. So.
so I'm not looking forward to that but um, I'm up here the wash is down there so if the water is going to run off it'll be down there and uh, it's supposed to be just um, a couple scattered thunderstorms tonight so I can't imagine that's going to get bad enough you know even if it does it, it really have to rain to fill this up to get up to where I'm at right here so I'm not worried about that uh, I don't know I just don't like hearing thunder and lightning and rain and stuff when I'm out so I, I did check and it did say I checked the weather report and it said it's going to be uh, scattered thunderstorms and um, you know but I didn't think it was going to actually be be that bad so we'll see it rained a little bit earlier it stopped now um, and I'm just kind of hoping it passes over but um, it passes over in a different direction but uh, as you can see it's uh, supposed to be coming this way so I tell you what so it rained pretty good earlier um, it's just you know it rained for probably about 10 maybe 15 minutes and then it stopped and uh, but as you see other than my footprints of where I just went out and got the bike and came back in it's completely dry in here so I really like this tent I honestly do um, that outer shell keeps all the water away and I even had the vents open still have the vents open I hear the rain coming down again but um, it's still nice and dry in here I didn't get any water in I didn't even feel any splashes so um, if it gets any heavier I might but I want to leave those vents open because I've got my little gas stove going right now so uh, definitely need the ventilation um, anyway that's the update I like the tent so if you're considering buying it uh, it's a it'd be a good purchase um, all right so it is currently uh five almost 5 30 and it's dark the wind seems to be calming down it's still a little bit windy right now but not like those 40 mile an hour gusts that i was getting earlier um and i tell you what this little red camp um stove has has been great so little disclaimer i am not saying that you should use this in a tent uh, just because of the carbon monoxide so I'm not saying that all right so I don't want anybody to say well something happens and they said well you know Sean said that you could use it in a tent I am not saying that I'm taking the risk uh, but it's keeping me warm so I've got both vents open and also with this tent with that outer shell uh, there's a lot of ventilation just the way it's, it's made so um, but anyhow yeah I am just gonna get through the night tonight and pack up and probably head home tomorrow because I'm I am on my last batteries right now so I've got about 50% left on this GoPro battery and then I have uh, I have almost a hundred well I got 91% on my phone there so I'm saving that in case I got to make any phone calls or anything um, but yeah I definitely not gonna have enough battery to go another two to three days so definitely need to find out figure out another solution for the batteries because I was expecting that uh, that wireless that um, that or that battery pack with the with the solar panels on it, I was expecting that to work better than it does. So uh, anyway, I think this will be the last one till in the morning. Talk to you later. Bye. Good morning everyone again so uh just got outside of the tent and the sun is just peeking up over the mountain so it was a pretty rough night last night it was windy there was thunderstorms coming through and uh but this morning there's still a little bit of breeze but it's nothing like it was yesterday